Hello everyone and welcome back to your piano lesson. If you are here for the first time, I am Gianluca Fronda, your virtual piano teacher. If you want to discover interesting facts about me, you can watch the introduction video of this channel. I'm leaving the link in the description of this video, where you will find also the link for my artistic channel Gianluca Fronda, pianist and composer, if you're interested in original music and covers. Talking about this channel, don't forget to subscribe and uh, let me know about yourself uh, by commenting, tell me when uh, you have started, if you are finding my channel interesting and you are improving your skills also thanks to my videos. And don't forget also to share with your friends if there is anybody interesting in piano music, any that, anybody that you know. So now time to go to our lesson. Today is time for me to play Angelfish, the C2 piece on page 10 of the grade 2 piano exam pieces um, ABR SEM 2021-2022. It's a very nice piece, quite challenging for uh, if you are a very young uh, student, but not complicated if you are a bit older and you, are, you have a little bit of experience playing quavers, uh, crossing hands and uh, using the pedal. Indeed, the main problems of this one are the um, many many quavers that you have, that you should play in between 112 and 120, then the use of the pedal, and the, the evenness that you have to try to um, achieve playing these uh, right hand quavers. Plus, uh, sometimes uh, the problem could be the one of, uh, for example, like in the second bar, the one of uh, skipping the downbeat of the third count. Uh, it happened again also in these. Uh, uh, bar in the last one of the first line, second page. But anyways, let's play now first at 120, then I will mention a few other things, and then uh, I will play again at slower speed. Let me now hear once at 120, I will play at the final one. Mind also the treble clef in the left hand stave, yeah? Mind indeed the ritardando in the end at the end and try to play as much as you can pianissimo very soft the last chord in the second last octave of the piano keyboard. Now uh, I should definitely uh, try to remind you a little bit how to use the pedal in um, one video uh, I have published previously is exactly the um, the video for Shadows, the grade 3 piece of the 2019-2020 uh, syllabus. Uh, I have uh, explained very very well how to use the pedal. If you want, I you can definitely uh, watch that video as well. I, I will leave the link um, just to maybe clarify even more how to use the pedal. But anyways, the principle regarding the pedal is the one of playing the note, releasing and pushing the, uh, the pedal, the right hand pedal, bumper pedal or sustain pedal. Let's repeat, the concept is note up down, note up down. The reason is that you have to um, clean up as much as you can all the possible vibrations of the previous bars and when it's time play the note and up down. This is, I think, the best way and I'm not the only one mentioning uh, this uh, way of using the pedal. 
Let me show you one second how I use the pedal, yeah? Let's move to my feet. So, uh, let's... Um, I will play the uh, first, let's say, four bars, just to let you understand. Simply follow the sound and you will understand where I am, yeah? I did. I repeat again, yeah? Note up, down. Note up, down. Okay, so let's try to see if we can capture now um, both my, um, my fingers and my foot. I'm playing with my right hand the um, key. In this way we don't risk to miss the, um, the the, the foot, but in the video that I've mentioned, the one related to shadow, the one about shadow, the great three, three piece of 2019 2020, there is a double camera that helps you understanding even more. Look, you see, note up down, up down, note up down, you will do it with the left, yeah, note up down, note up down, note up down, okay, this is the principle of the pedal. Then uh, I keep saying. Mind the evenness of the right hand notes. They have to be definitely uh, identical in terms of length of intensity. Yeah, there is uh, um, some uh, um, small difference in terms of intensity. But mind, first of all, the evenness. And then you will, um, let's say, polish um, to reach a very interesting sound. All the right hand quavers. Um, I think that there is nothing else that, sh that should be men mentioned. Uh, respect to the phrasing, you see the these very long phrases, play in one breath, the same here, play in one breath, okay? Um, nothing else? I want to play now slower. I will play at 60, just to let you check every single uh, note, finger, action. Obviously I will be skipping the ritardando because I uh, with the metronome. I will keep the metronome on, yeah? clarify just a few more details. So the first one is related to something that I've already anyways mentioned. When you have the, uh, for example in the second bar of the third line, when you have to uh, play the last block of three quavers, at this point think three or say even three like three and try in this way one and two and three and four and help yourself then you can definitely count in your mind like one and two, three, four. It definitely helps you keeping the consistency and the the evenness of the whole passage. Plus, mind these many left and over, left and over. You have to definitely um, do the same here. Yeah, you start from then mind the treble clef. Yeah. 
I carry on with the left hand over and then mind the bass clef because you go down again treble clef and then and then obviously bass clef again I start with the third but then I immediately exchange a thumb to play then the E with the second the E this one with the second and then obviously the last one with the little finger of the left and I fly up I don't think that there is anything else to be mentioned, it's really enjoyable, it's a very nice piece, this angelfish. I hope you have enjoyed the video, um, let me know how you are studying it, if there is anything else that you are doing, or anything that I didn't mention, that you would really appreciate if I mentioned. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you have never done before, and see you in the next video. Thank you, bye bye!